The other side I used kite string. This time I'm going to try and use fishing line, which is what I'd wanted to use last time. So we just kind of fish it behind this and then just saw back and forth. Oh yeah, fishing line is way better. Not too much force. We don't want to break the line. But we're going to cut right through the original adhesive on this. And you want to go all the way to the end. You don't want to pull this thing up because it's made of metal. And when you pivot it up at the very end, you'll put, you'll scratch the paint. I've seen lots of people online post about having accidentally done that. So learn from their mistakes. We'll see if I can do it without doing it. I managed to get it off properly last time on the other side. The problem I was having on the other side was the uh, kite string was uh, way too weak. I kept snapping it. It was maddening. Oh yeah, fishing line is the way to go. And we're off now. Do not pivot it up. go straight off there we go most of the adhesive off the tank side here and a little bit left down there turns out you can just rub this with your finger mostly Hello, darling. Hello, sweetie. What are you doing? Uh, oh, right finally putting my logo on, yeah. You see the other side, it's done. Nice. Thanks. Yeah, the, the one that I got with the fancy skull, um, he wanted a fortune to replace the one that I damaged, so I'm like, screw it. I already spent a fortune. Mm -hmm. You can't hook me up. I'm not. I'm yeah, the guy was already not hooking people up. It was supposedly a group buy, and he was charging, you know way more than these generic ones on eBay are. Group buy is supposed to be a better deal. Anyways, um, his were too big. They were, they took up the entire side of the tank. Uh. Yeah, so that's part of why I had so much trouble putting them on. I got it on there and then the bottom of it was wrapping around the bottom. I'm like, well, that looks stupid. Yeah. After I've rubbed off the adhesive foam by hand, I start with goof off on a rag to remove the remaining adhesive film, which turns it into a tacky rubber-like substance. It comes off pretty easily with goof off. Once I feel like I've gotten all of it off, I switch to denatured alcohol to clean up the goof off residue in order to prepare it for the vinyl decal install. After you've gotten the last of the adhesive off, just go over it one more time with some isopropyl to get it all clean. I actually got this logo on this side off a while back. Quite a while back, like last winter. So I've got quite a bit of dirt on this side. Just gonna kind of go all around it. Don't want any any hair or dust. So I'm getting quite a bit of both. Put some more. Once it's fully clean, we can start putting the new logo on. Take a bottle of soapy water, a little bit of baby shampoo in here, soap this up, and then we're gonna put the new Indian logo right there on the tank. We want the Indian to be level with the ground. That seems the word Indian, we want that level with the ground. So figure out where you want him put them there. That seems about right. Or do I want them more central? Yeah, I think I want them a little bit farther back. So, I've got four fingers from his chin to the edge. Slowly unwrapping this guy. Far so good. It's a fairly fresh decal. The age of the decal matters a lot. There we go. 
completely free. Now we're gonna soap this puppy up. We're gonna soap this thing up. I'm gonna pull out a card out of my wallet. Uh, Harley Davidson gift card award nicely. There we go. And still see the Indian word just a little bit. Try and put them back where I had planned on putting them. Don't want them too high on the tank or too low. I try and put them in the right place to begin with. And we're gonna, here's the Indian word. Level that out a little bit more. And this puppy's gonna slide all over with this soap. But I tried it with just water. And boy, howdy, did it not wanna let go. It stuck on the first try. No amount of water was saving it. So I screwed up my first attempt at installing one of these logos. These decals. They'll stick better as I get more and more of the water out. And the soap helps me get the bubbles out. So I end up with bubbles. better and better as I get more and more of the water out of there. Once I feel like I've got enough of the water out that the decal is going to actually stick to the tank, I will try peeling the paper off. But there's no rush to do that early. stick into the paper. And give a little bit more time. Do a little bit more squeegee in. stick to the paper. I'm going to start squirting the paper down now. We need to get this paper to let go of the vinyl. I think I put enough on there. Try it back here. Oh, there's a second one. Probably doing this all wrong, but damn it. Third leg, wing, feather, whatever you want to call it. Oh, the fourth one did it just fine by itself. That's a plus. Oh, 
Come on. Stick to the bike by yourself. one because it's the middle of a word and it's not connected to the rest of the decal at all. Middle of a letter that is. <laughs> of course it's the middle of a word. See how much work this is? Good. Actually, I'm recording. That's a plus. Come on, stay on the bike. This area. Come on. Stay on there. Jeez. Kind of screwed up the top of the end here, but I hardly notice. Not really happy with the way these tips are sticking up at the back. Maybe they'll come down on their own. Let's uh, wipe off the extra soap on this thing. This guy's got a bubble in his chin. There we go. in a little bit, that's wonderful. Cool. But I got him on level and, you know, centered as well as I want. Got three fingers before his chin. Good deal. Uh, look at it from the side and get a nice picture. All right, time to do the second side. We got it all cleaned up. We're gonna stick them on. 
I got the feathers one finger down from the top over there and the face is about three fingers back. So I'm going to try and do it in about the same place again. And we need the Indian logo level. So there we go. That's why it didn't look quite right. There we go. Indian level logo level. And it'll be a lot harder to see after I've done that. Okay. Lots of soap. And let's get this logo off here. Come on. Move them around a bit. Indian logo is level. He is three fingers back right there. One finger down right here. So that's about where I want him. out. I'm going to spray some soap on the outside of this. This is something I learned on the last side. And then I'm going to start getting all the soap out from under the Okay, I'm just going to keep installing this here in the background. While, while it's happening, let's have a little chat about YouTube's latest annoyance. First, I want to go over some background. I created this channel in November 2006, maybe October, October 2006. Initially, I uploaded some videos of my kids playing on their Power Wheels toy cars in the backyard. I had souped them up, put faster motors, bigger batteries, higher voltage. Anyways, one of those videos got pretty well viewed. I had over 150,000 views, which was pretty good for YouTube in 2006. There were some other videos of my kids from time to time, other projects we'd done together and stuff, other toys that I'd made for them. That being said, my channel has long since been mostly electronics, cars, and motorcycles. Thanks to YouTube freaking out about scumbag human beings leaving inappropriate comments on videos with children, they've completely disabled comments on thousands of channels. My channel got flagged as one of them. Unfortunately, at least right now, they haven't got a system in place to appeal this. My channel, being a fairly small player, I don't have a contact at YouTube, and all the avenues I've tried thus far have fallen on deaf ears. Apparently the YouTube Creator Support account on Twitter doesn't actually get you any so-called support, as I've tweeted at them and all the other YouTube accounts that I can find, and it just dead silence. They, they don't reply. The worst part about all of this is I've always moderated the comments on my videos. You were always welcome to join into the conversations and ask questions, but I always drew the, line, drew the line at insulting me as a person or whatever vehicle I happen to be working on. Insults in general, I guess. You were welcome to say you didn't like where I was going with one of my projects, as long as you did it pleasant, you know, relatively politely. But, uh... Beyond that, you know, I moderated things. Like I, a lot of YouTube channels over the years, their comments have been an absolute cesspool, and mine was rather polite and agreeable. Anyways, I'm going off on a tangent now. For the time being, there's no way to comment on any of my videos. I'm more than a little pissed about this. I've gone so far as to remove every video of mine with my kids, even one of my motorcycle videos where I had my daughter along. Luckily, I still have my monetization active, so there's that. And I'm still hoping YouTube pulls their heads back out of their arse and re-enables comments or otherwise provides a way to appeal this. Hopefully, if you're watching this video in the future, you'll be able to comment below. If not, know that it's out of my hands, and if you have any questions regarding one of my videos, feel free to email me directly, uniclocker at gmail. Please remember to like and subscribe, share the videos with others who are considering similar projects, as of right now, I'm standing just below 3,000 subscribers. Uh, my next big goal is 10,000, but uh, it'd be nice to crack 3,000. And thanks for watching.